on today's episode of, yeah, that's a thing that exists, the Death's Head Cockroach. Now, I'm sure many of you have heard of the Death's Head Hawk Moth, but there is also the Death's Head Cockroach, which is named for pretty much the same reason as the moth. This is the Death's Head Cockroach, quite obviously named for that kind of skull or face-like marking on the top of the thorax. These guys are native to a number of areas of Mexico and Central America, as well as a few islands in the West Indies, and have recently made their way all the way up into the United States in areas like Florida. Physiologically and behaviorally, they are quite similar to many other species of roaches, eating pretty much anything they can get. They're quite social, often being found in groups of multiple individuals. And they are capable of burrowing into kind of any soft substrate like leaf litter or loose soil whenever they feel threatened. They are also capable of flight, however, like many cockroaches, they don't fly all that commonly, typically preferring to just kind of walk or run around on the ground, but like many roaches, they are in fact capable of flying. They are also capable of regenerating certain body parts after an amputation, namely legs. So if a leg gets damaged or somehow removed, in the next molt, these guys can usually regenerate if the damage isn't too severe. People do occasionally keep roaches as pets, and these guys are not uncommonly found kept by people who do like roaches. They're apparently not that hard to keep, like many other types of cockroaches. They are relatively easy to keep in captivity and can live in captivity for up to two or so years.